Yo, hey, what's going on guys, Insta here. So today we are doing a video on how to find Ghost Clan Strings Episode 2. I'm going to show you guys a way easier method just by dumping memory, dumping memory strings, and then comparing them to a legit version of Minecraft, to a cheating version of Minecraft. So yeah, a uh, shout out to Hecklo for showing me this uh, method. His channel link will be in the description. And yeah, uh, if you guys want to come play with me, I am currently staff on virix.us. I recommend you guys playing. The server IP will be right on the screen now. So yeah, recommend recommend you guys coming to play. And yeah, uh, let's get right into the video. Okay, so now we are back in Minecraft. So this is a clean version of 1.1.10. So we're going to do this comparison memory comparison method. So it's pretty simple. All you want to do is to go to Process Hacker 3 or Process Hacker 2, whatever you want. The link will be in the description. You just want to search up Java W. So this Java W is your Minecraft. So you want to do is properties, options, strings, put it to five, not four, five, tick image mapped and scan. So this shouldn't take too long, but I will skip this. Okay, so it's now found all the strings. So all you want to do is to just press save. And I'm going to save this in this strings folder. You can make a separate folder if you wish, just it's on my desktop. And you just want to search, um, just want to rename it to clean. So let's just do that. Just so it put clean, or clean one, and save. So this will take a second because Prose Hacker is trying to save all of this to a text document. But now it's done. So now you want to close, close that again, go back into Minecraft. So now you want to inject the client. So here is my client. So it is bit. So I'm just going to launch dot bat, and it's going to inject. As you can see and inject it so it's a cracked version of bit and now if you press right shift bit comes up so this is a ghost client so if i go to other then i will have a self-destruct so let's just complete just self-destruct so you want to inject self-destruct wait for it to self-destruct which takes a little minute there we go so now i am on a cheated cheating version of minecraft so all you want to do is open up process hacker again do the exact same thing properties for and then you want to put five here, image mapped, press okay. And then let's skip through this. Okay, so now we are back and it has now loaded all of the strings. So we just want to do the exact same thing again. You want to save. And now this time you want to put dirty or something bad. So dirty one. So yeah. this is what we call a dirty version. So we have clean and dirty. Clean is where there's no cheats which is a completely vanilla version of Minecraft. And then you can have Dirty, which is a cheating version of Minecraft, which cheats in, when cheats injected. So this can work on Java-based clients, on anything, injectables, all that, as you can just, as you just saw, I just injected. So now all you want to do is to go to that folder. So I have it on my desktop. So I'm just going to open my desktop, my very clean desktop. Here's my desktop and then I'm just going to put string folder because I know it should be in string folder right here. So now you're going to have two, two text documents. So you want to make two folders. You want to make a uh, clean and you want to make another one called dirty. The exact same as the uh, text documents, just not a one or two behind. So you want to put the dirty text document into the dirty and you want to put a clean one into the clean and then you want to close minecraft and reopen it again and redo that exact same thing again and again you want to do this about seven to eight times i know it can be tedious but it is definitely worth it to get all the strings so yeah i'm going to do that and i'll be back with you guys okay so i've done it about four times you guys should really do it about like i'd say about seven to eight times but yeah i was just trying to save a bit of time because i don't really want to be here for about 20 years so yeah uh, what you do now is you have to put each one of them in their respective folder. So I'm going to put all the clean ones into the clean folder. I'm going to put all the dirty ones into the dirty folder. There we go. And then you want to install this application. This is Phage's string analyzer. Uh, you guys can do, uh, you guys can use another one, but the download link will be in the description. So you want to do is just place it in this folder with the other two folders inside. And you just want to double click and open it you want to put the string length to five and then it'll just load the files so hopefully my capitalization didn't mess anything up but it shouldn't have 
and yeah, I'll bring you guys back. I'll speed this up. So yeah, be right back. And we are back, so we just finished looking up all the strings. So you just want to press uh, anything, any key to continue, and you should have this little text document here. So this text document is every single string which isn't the same in each uh, text document. So a lot of these are legit strings, and there shouldn't be too many legit those. So as you can see here, right, right here, there will be a GY. So this is a normal string. If we search up, for example, bit, which is the name. Oh, look right here. There's a bit client right here. Let's look for another another thing of bit. Bit, that's fine. That's fine. Bit launcher. Couldn't find any more bits. So yeah, you could, guys could probably take one of these strings. As I said, you should do this about seven, seven times. But if I, in theory, if I look up this string in this version, so I self-destructed bit on this version. So if we go to process hacker, process hacker two, search up Java W, we're just gonna do a normal string check. So properties, options, strings for image mapped. So yeah, as I said, you should do this about seven to eight times with seven and eight uh, dirty and clean text documents to minimize false detections. And you should also check the, the strings on multiple people to make sure they do come up for everybody. But if I look up this string, there you go, the string's right there. And you can go into the branch, you can check it. You normally don't see this in normal Minecraft, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm currently CineMod on virus.us, so yeah. Have a good one. Peace.